Okay, so that intro was a bit of a joke, but for years I have heard of this drywall trick that drywall finishers use, and that is to add dish soap to their drywall compound, or drywall mud as it's commonly referred to. The claim is that it makes mud smoother and easier to work with, and it also supposedly eliminates the fisheye bubbles that happen when mudding over a painted surface. So in this video, I'm going to do a comparison test between regular mud and mud with a little bit of dish soap added to it. The yellow mud will be the control mud, that's just regular mud, and the blue mud will be the mud that I've added a bit of dish soap into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mud the dish soap mud up here and I'm going to test to see if it decreases the fisheye bubbles that happen over paint. And I'm going to determine whether it spreads smoother than the regular mud. But before I get to that, I just want to say that I don't endorse doing this. I'm just testing to see if it works or not. I have some concerns about adding dish soap to mud, some big concerns, and I'm going to address those concerns and tell you what I think despite the results that I get even if it works really well I still have concerns that would stop me from using this professionally so stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you what I think my concerns are and but for now let's just get to the test okay so now on to the first part of the test to see if the soap to mud decreases the amount of fisheye bubbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread a medium layer right here and then I'm going to take the other mud and put another medium thickness layer here and then I'll bring the camera close and I'll compare it. Okay, so that's that layer. Now for the regular mud. I can already feel that the regular mud's a little bit harder to push, even though the same amount of water was put into both. Alright, so I put both on the same amount of layer and I kind of knife smoothed it out about the same number of times, I think. So I'm going to bring the camera up close and we're going to have a look. Okay, so here's an up close look. First, the regular mud. So we have quite a few bubbles. These are the fisheye bubbles that I'm talking about. And eventually they do break open in time. And you'll see that there's air behind it. And that happens because the air that's inside the mud has nowhere to go it. <clears throat> it can't go into the drywall board because of the paint has sealed the surface. So they just erupt on the surface. You don't get these kind of little bubbles when you mud over drywall, bare drywall board. But you do get them when you mud over uh, a painted surface. So that's about how many we got on the regular mud. Now moving up to the soap to mud, there's actually quite a few. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't see much difference. In fact, I'm thinking, just having a look here, they're either the same or the soap to mud possibly has more. Which doesn't surprise me because soap equals bubbles. So the whole concept that adding soap to mud would decrease bubbles seemed very counterintuitive to me. And I'm seeing either no difference or more bubbles in the soaked mud. At the very least, they're the same. So that's the first part of the test. And now I'm going to just spread them out a little bit and just work with the mud 
and kind of tell you what I think about the spreadability difference between the muds. Okay, so like I said, I mixed these with the exact same amount of water. The only difference is I added soap to the other one. So I'm going to spread this a little more. And I've been mudding a lot, so just, uh, I can just tell by the feel of it. So this does have a lot more friction than what I remembered when I spread that. So, okay, now I'm just going to go straight to the soap to mud. Oh, definitely. This just spreads like so easy. Too easy, actually. I'm not even used to this. And that's what I would expect when you add a soap, which would act as a lubricant in the mud, is that you're going to get a lot better spreadability. But I'm not even used to that. That just seems like too much. Um, maybe for a novice, that might be okay. But for me, uh, it just almost seems unnatural. So yeah, there is a huge difference, big time, between the spreadability of the soap mud and the regular mud. But that said, I'm so used to just the regular mud. This just seems, this feels natural to me. It feels like I just, I got better control over it. I can shape it better. Uh, yeah, this, this, this seems like what I'm used to. This seems like the, this seems like the, uh, the kind of consistency that I would want mud to be. This, however, it just, yeah, it just doesn't feel right. So, yeah, so it does spread nicer, but my preference is actually just for the regular mud. Okay, so to finish this video off, I want to talk about my concern about adding soap to mud. Uh, the soap, like the ingredients in the soap, in the dish soap, that cause this to happen, are called soap surficants. And... They, they make a difference on the spreading. They didn't make a difference on decreasing the bubbles, but they made it spread nicer. Now here's my concern, is the soap surficants, they will, by their very nature, decrease the bond of the drywall mud. They will decrease the adhesion of the drywall mud, and they will decrease the adhesion of any product paint, primer, put on top of the mud. So my huge concern here is that if you have soap in your mud and you're using that on a job and then when you go to paint it, you could have adhesion problems with the paint. You could have adhesion problems with the mud itself. And uh, before I made this video, I went online and I searched through a lot of the drywall forums and I also searched through the paint forums and I read a lot of articles. and. Uh, there was a lot of concerns put forth by people and also concerns were written by the product representatives that make drywall mud and they said that they said that it'll decrease the adhesion of the drywall mud and it'll decrease the adhesion of paint on top of the mud and on the painters forums they said the same thing that uh, drywall finishers who have put soap into their mud that they had issues with paint adhering onto the mud. So that that that's just reading that, that just completely ends for me any idea whatsoever of ever putting uh, soap in my drywall mud. And you know what, I didn't even like it. It just seemed to, I don't know what the word for it is, but I just preferred what I've been using for almost 20 years. And you know what, drywall manufacturers have chemical engineers that have formulated the product and perfected it over decades. And the drywall mud manufacturers, they know about that trick that some drywall finishers are using. And if 
if there wasn't an issue with putting soap surfacants in mud, you would think that the drywall mud manufacturers would have just put it into their drywall compound, but they haven't. And my thinking is that because of their chemical engineers have determined that, yeah, it causes an issue. And that's what I've read. That seems to be everything that I've heard. That could be from putting too much soap in the drywall mud, but my take is that any amount of anything put into the drywall mud that's going to decrease its adhesion is just a complete no-go for me. So anyway, that's the test. Um, I found that the bubbles, no difference. Uh, the spreadability, big increase. I didn't quite like it. It just seemed too lubricated. It just, um, I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, big concerns about adhesion. I, if you're going to try this trick, uh, or if you're doing this trick, it's one of those things, do it your own risk, but it could come back to bite you. So that's basically all I have to say. I, I don't endorse the idea. I just wanted to test it. So that's about a wrap for this video. I hope you found uh, at least something helpful in this video. And uh, yeah, what's the uh, usual YouTube uh, thing that people say? Um, subscribe and what was it? Say hi and sub no, like no, yeah yeah, subscribe, like and subscribe. That's it. Yeah, if you found it helpful, like and subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so one last update about this video is that when I went to go and uh, scrape that mud off my wall, the soaked mud it just it, it flaked off the wall. It just came off so easily. Whereas the regular mud, I had to really scrape at it. So that, that for me was the absolute nail in the coffin. I highly advise, do not ever try the trick of putting soap in the mud. It just, to me, absolute bad thing to do. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you found that helpful. Um, consider subscribing or hitting the like button. Okay, thanks for watching.